Okay, right. This is going to be a really fucking long one because we've got three games. Uh, the third game will be explained. And then I'm going to go through, do player ratings, and then I'm going to show you basically the players that I would put in to make the team actually good. So basically just replacing the ones with some more expensive players, and of course Guido. But yeah, um, just going to get this done really quickly. Like this opening bit is pointless. Um, there's team's got Longo in it. Um, Biondini is playing in the centre mid or right centre mid position because I wanted to get some sort of interesting sort of hooked long shots. Antonini's back in and yeah it's pretty much the team that I've only really been using like none of the other cams feature. This is just one last chance for me to see if having two strikers is better because these are the only two strikers I got. So be interesting to see if they work together well and hey it's been a while since we've seen Longo so fuck it. Anyway let's get into the thing. Okay, last two matches, uh, that's quite the team, that's quite the team, alright. <sighs> Asamoah at left back is interesting, I suppose that's where he's supposed to play, but, ah well, let's see how we do. Got the two strikers up front, Laxalt's away already. Laxalt! No. I just kind of wish the team was more consistent, because I swear to God, we've had times when this team is the tits, and times when this team drives me to near killing spree. So, I'd like a bit of middle ground, and then I'd be cool. <laughs> like, it doesn't have to be amazing all the time, but, you know, a bit better than either yes or no. Oh, is that Biondini's free kick? I think it is. Oh, Cascione's gonna take it though. Oh, Cascione! Uh, nah, nah, Biondini can have it. Can we get it up and over? That's the question. Oh, yes we can, apparently. Not bad at all. No. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> You, you could not be Cascioni. Oh, Casc... Oh, wow. His players are really good at getting in the way. I don't know if any of these shots are really going to go in. They're all a bit dumb, but... His players are blocking them well. I'll give them that. Alright, we got Ukon. Oh, no, we haven't. No. Oh, no, wait, no. No, Ukon. <laughs> You're a bit hot and cold as well. Sometimes I think I really like you, and then sometimes no. And Biondini just got floored by Giovinco. He's like five foot four, man. Oh, nice head. Oh my God, what a save, Rubinho. That was Ukan, I think. I think it was. Oh, now I'm on the back foot. This is all over the place. Oh, what a thumping bloody head of Jesus. Yes, Parquet. Alright, what are you going to do against Longo, huh? Nothing, because it's like half time. Alright. <laughs> so, bit of me coffee. Yeah. Now it's been fairly back and forth. He's had more possession, but I've had more shots. Just sort of spells where one is dominating the other. It's a bit weird there. Oh, wow, Ukon. Make a tackle. You had him right there. Now for what? This is really going to be a draw, isn't it? That's quite disappointing, actually. I feel like we've done enough to win the game, but I I haven't been able to break through since, like, the first half. He hasn't... <laughs> oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Come on, I'm ready. It's happening. I can see it. Ha oh, ha! Oh, the sweat to Giovinco was on. Why are you crossing it into Giovinco? <laughs> it's not happening. Through the longo. It's Vidal, I think. Vidal is making all the difference for him. Whereas Cascioni can defend, Vidal gets about the pitch a lot better than Cascioni. Oh shit. No! Why are you always there, Caceres? Are you really going to go onto my list of, like, fucking centre backs that I hate? Oh, nicely done. Oh, Gonzalez has just won it twice. 
And then Chiellini, you're right there. Oh, but Longo. Caschioni's making a for really forward run. Biondini's been sitting back an awful lot this game. I don't know if I like that. Like, Caschioni is the centre defence in mid, and yet he's been up and down the park. No! Oh! We've had the opportunities. It's really frustrating me. Caschioni, you are so good. No! No! Longo! No! No! Oh, the break was there. We ran through. I'm going to go ultra attacking. I would rather lose. I don't want to draw. Draws are fucking boring unless there's goals concerned, and that's not going to help. Oh, Biondini. I don't like you as a centre mid. It's a bit weird, actually. You're a lot better as a CDM because you ran up more for some bizarre reason. Um, not quite how it's a pot. Wow. Fucking respect for Longo for staying up during that. Alright, like so. Oh, fuck me. No, there's no way. We've had our opportunity with Longo and he missed it. He fluffed his lines at the most important time. Unless... No! Ah, oh, come on! Oh! And that's just happened! Oh, Gonzalez. You are fucking phenomenal. You have been a brick wall. As is his entire defense. Oh, well. Ah, bleh. Bleh, bleh, bleh. I want it better. I am a bit disappointed at that. I am a little bit. But, ah, ah, it showcased some good talents, and let's face it, my defense were really, really, really good, I thought. Dealt with the pace problem quite well. Rubinio made some good saves, so not a great showcase for the two strikers, but I think it did quite well. I don't like Biondini's as a bit. He doesn't do enough. I'm I'm not pleased with that. I might try switching him and um Um Ukon over. Alright, I changed my mind. I swapped Ukon out for Belomo entirely. Oh wow. That's a team. Benafra the Cam, eh? Da that defence looks hideous. Apart from Jamma at the right back, I think that's okay. I don't know how good Minule is uh, in this game either. But if he's anything like in real life, this will be the biggest piece of piss ever. Oh, Longo, with those skills, though. Oh, Biondini. <laughs> Trying to get fancy with it. Oh, uh, go on, Belomo. Oh, here we go. Here comes the steam train himself. Get off the wing, Benteke. Just because you're fucking... Oh, wait, no. He is tanky. He can do whatever he wants. I forgot. <laughs> it's fucking FIFA. He's tanky, and he has pace. Belomo. Bit better pass than that, thank you. Oh, Biondini. I put you on the on the left immediately. You're doing better. Oh, good tackle. Oh, Bref, get out of the fucking way. Oh, you forgot the ball bug, eh? Oh, no! Didn't want him to stop. I wanted him to actually do a fake shot. Oh, good tackle, though, Biondini. Winning it back. Nicely done. Oh, yeah. You weren't going to win that header, were you, Biondini? <laughs> Against Venteke? No. Oh, wow. Hello, Rubinho. I like Rubinho, actually. He is not the keeper I expected him to be. I expected him to be a chuffing pile of dog shit, and I was only trying him as a novelty, basically, and he's surprisingly good. Not necessarily consistent, but that's kind of the whole thing for this entire team. No one... It's, it's, they struggle with consistency. Biondini! Oh, yes! The Biondini! The Biondini! No, it's not it's an own goal, isn't it? Oh, Biondini didn't get his goal! But he earned that shit! Oh, shit. You're over, Titch. Yes! Oh, 
Okay, I don't quite know what the fuck's happened to Belomo, but he's been shite. <laughs> Maybe it's just because I'm playing him as a centre mid, but it's effectively a right mid. He did alright. I would kind of expect him to be a little bit better than shite. Wow, you are really just being that guy. I don't like that. Go on. No, long go. Oh, shit. Oh, stop using your right foot, Lax out. Your left footed, you blithering tit. Go with your strengths. Although, if he scored it, I wouldn't have complained. Uh, what an almighty punch. Oh, long go. Come on, long go. Have him. Have him. Have him. Yeah. Wow, free, uh, free kick, I think. Wow. God, fuck. Ah, oh, whatever, we're winning. At least we scored. Couldn't even score last time, so that's good. Oh, no. Kill, kill, Jovetic. Jesus Christ. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Piss off, Jovetic. Why are you so good? And how does that make any sense? Bike like, yeah, why are you getting further back? Yeah, really? Really? Why did I even take Ukon out? Oh, wow! <laughs> oh, this poor, poor man. He is having one of those days and then he's he's redeemed that he's deserved that to be fair holy shit it was a skanky goal but he really did deserve it cause fucking hell man I can't believe he hit the post again seriously though we should be stopping Ben Arthur we should be stopping Ben Arthur how are we not stopping Ben Arthur I'm a bit disappointed in that actually but he did deserve the goal, whatever the merits of how shite the goal was. But long... Go! Go! No! Oh. Run! Do things! Good bit of play, actually. Fair enough. Barkey! What are you doing? That was all your fault. Why? Why did you stop running? You're a striker. Run forward. I was waiting. And there's his work rate. Oh, great. He's gotten another bloody corner. In the 90th minute. Can we see where this is going to go? I'm waiting. Oh, wow. It didn't go that way. It's gone to lag, so. Oh, long. Oh, fuck off. Jesus Christ. Didn't help that Longo made a shit pass afterwards. No, oh, where are you passing it, Longo? Where? To whom? I would like to know. Fuck, what a fucking... No, I refuse that. It's a bloody boring way of ending it. What a piece of shit. Fuck off, McGeady. Fuck off. I refuse that entirely. Yeah, it was a carry chess on goal. Fuck it out. How did that not go in? No, I, I refuse that. I was just boring. It's like, oh, look, it's a, no it's a newer. He's so great. Nah, balls to that. I'm gonna go get one more game. Hopefully, I should be able to edit it down so it ain't too long. Alright, I've decided as a little cheeky finale since we have played the 10 games and we have, you know, I do have a team that I'm going to say, like, hey, here's the best, but for a finale for myself, we're going to play a game with Guido Maralungo at striker instead of Longo, because Longo has been a bit shit towards the end. So, let's go, my lucky mascot. Let's see if you're as good as you've always been. That's not a great start, but, yeah, well, nicely done, Biondini. Like, he is defending, like, nobody's bloody business. And Lagsau, stick a foot out, please. 
Just because you're a cam doesn't mean you don't have legs. No! And that's happened. Oh. Shit! Damn I don't know why that's happened, but it has. Can't bark, eh? Oh. Thank you. That would do. Oh, man. Oh, this is going to be so rough. I completely regret, uh, regret my decision now. This is a terrible idea. I don't know, it's what an idiot I am. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh fuck! Damn it, Guido! Oh, the touch was not sublime. The touch was not sublime at all. No! 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 The sweat! Oh, fuck off! Holy shit. Wow. 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 Look at that! You scummy little trap! Oh my god. Oh. This was such a bad idea, I should have taken the draw and walked away! Oh, boy, gay! Come on! Every time his players are just there! Again! No penalty has to be! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Well done, Biondini! Guido and Biondini combined! Nice! Penalty at the 45th minute. What are we waiting for? Come on! I don't give a shit how it happened. I got it! Can I take it? Instead of having to watch you fuck around. Oh, no, Guido's going on it. Oh, why do we have to watch this? animations. God's sake, it's not Pokemon all over again. Yeah, Guido! Nicely done, Guido. Alright, we're back in it. Probably not for long, but we are back in it. Alright, since that took so long, I guess there's no extra time, huh? Oh no, wait. Oh well, Cascione. Probably no extra time for me, though. Oh no, there's tons of it, apparently. Oh, Rubinio! Okay, that's the first genuine, like, shitstorm you've had so far. In ten games, well, eight, probably, yeah, more like eight. That's the first time that I've looked at you and thought, that is not a good keeper. Other than that, you've been really quite good. Saving things that I expect you to save, you know. Oh, wow. Oh, see, and then he does stuff like that, and then that happens. Fucking hell, man! Oh, Guido, why aren't you fast? <laughs> I want a pace abuse. Bah! I'll insult the man for pace abusing, and then I try and do it. Oh, wow, Antonini. Ah, okay. We, we've we've solved it. It's all right. Oh, oh, oh! It's a fucking foot out, man. Oh no, no, no! I don't think so. I don't think so. Guido, no! Now, Guido, I want you to stick a foot out. Why are there no attacking players do that? I don't care if they have an interception stat. You're a person with legs trying to get a ball. Stick your fucking foot out, regardless of your stat. If you miss it, then you miss it. And we all laugh at you. But if you get it, then suddenly you're through a goal. 
Oh! Holy crap, Maralungo just got destroyed! <laughs> oh, man. The ragdoll in this game is so fucking funny. Oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, Lax out. What a tack. You're fucking better than Badu! A defending! Yes! Oh, Guido! With the assist to Parquet, and we're back in it. We're back. We're back. Oh, yeah. Uh -uh. Let's go. Come on. Lovely ball. Fantastic finish with the left foot. Nicely done, Richmond. I I'm telling you, he has made a few clunkers, but he's good. He is actually a genuinely good keeper. And I'm glad that I picked him on some kind of dumb whim because I couldn't get Liali. No. Oh my god. Oh! For shame! Walcott. Why has that just happened? Oh, I'm glad it has. Oh, alright, cool. We get a throw. We get a throw. It's alright. Yeah, I don't care though. Can we hurry it up? Can we hurry it up? I don't care if Walcott gets a yellow card. Do you know how much yellow cards matter in this game? Like, nothing. Reds matter. If you give him a red, I'll give a shit. Cascioni, why are you doing this weird, like, flicky bullshit? Blakey, why the fuck are you standing offside? Oh, Marilyn, go, you could have won it. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. He's gonna blow the whistle now. Oh, be on. Oh my god, what are you doing? Oh no, he's not. Oh no, he's not. Oh my god! Fucking yeah! Holy oh, crap! The 90th minute went up. Oh, how do you feel? That is how we end this. Papow! Who said chips were bad? I did, but I've just proved myself wrong, because that is sweet. And it was lax out and bouquet. Very good players. Let ah! Ah! Eat my shit, whoever you are, you sweaty, sweaty man. Alright, now I'll end it, because now I feel comfortable with that. Not some janky nil-nil draw one all draw bullshit. No. That is how you win a game. <laughs> nice. Oh, well, I'll go make, like, a team now, but it won't have Guido in it. Guido is amazing, but he's not non-red, so, yeah. Oh, well. Alright, so that was kind of a confusing, all over the place mess of a series. It was alright, I enjoyed it, and I, there were ups and downs, the usual shtick. Which is kind of what we're supposed to expect. But anyway, I'm going to start by saying something I probably should have said in the BPL one, which was that you can, if you don't care anymore, you can piss off now. Like, this is just going to be me rating the players. There's your recommended team, um, you got Burke, Ukan, Laxout, Longo, Cascioni. Biondini, Nilsson, Gonzalez, Antonini, Renzetti, and Rubinio. If you want to know why they're good, then hang around, I guess. But if you can't be asked, then you can't be asked, and I can just sit here rambling to myself like I always do. Anyway, so yeah, uh, that's the finished team, but I'm going to say this right now. Um, I'm going to start off by recommending... Well, as we said, is the player that I really just wanted to use, which is Guido Marilungo. He might not have looked much in that last game that we had, but genuinely he is good. I have actually been using him for quite a while now. I've been playing a lot more games after I recorded all of these. He's fucking phenomenal. He's such a good player. If you play him as a right hand cam, which I will show um, at the end, like my little finish team that I made, I'm telling you, he's the dogs. Anyway, so yeah, get Guido, he's, he's great fun, and he's 400 fucking coins, he's cheaper than a lot of the players in this team. Anyway, 
First off, we got um, Richmond Bot. Okay, I really should just call him Richmond the entire time, but there you go. He cost me 650 coins. He scored seven goals in seven games and got four assists. There's not much else you really need to know. He's quite tall. He's pretty quick. He's got a good shot. The only problem I'd say is his medium medium work rates does mean that he will lop around at the striker spot a fair bit, but he's pretty fucking good. I'd give him an 8 out of 10. Um, Ukon! Fucking expensive. Um, I never really felt like his weak foot was on display. I never really got to use it enough. He never showed it off that much, so I wouldn't really count his weak foot as a positive because I haven't seen him display it. I don't think I ever saw him display it. But most players can pass with their left and right foot, and most of the time passes suck anyway, so you never really got a good idea of it. If he was a striker, or a centre forward, then you could probably see a bit more, but why would you play him there when he's quite clearly a centre mid? I just played him as a cam, for formation's sake, really. Um, but yeah, no, he wasn't bad. I mean, he got three goals, he got an assist, uh, there were a few games there he sort of ran up and down the wing quite well, and he seems quite bored to be played on the wing, actually. I liked him a lot more there than I did in the centre of the park. But I give him a 6 out of 10. He wasn't bad by any means. He did annoy me sometimes. But the price tag is for what you're paying for, like, the only reason he costs that much is because he's got 5-star weak foot and 4-star skills. I don't know. The skills are good, but I didn't see the weak foot come through. Maybe if I used him more, I would have seen it, but... He had a chance to impress me? Didn't impress me. So, 6 out of 10. Next, we have the mighty Laxal. He's fucking amazing. I love Laxal. He is the surprise package of the team. Like, him and Robinho, like, they're fucking phenomenal. 250 coins, yes, he's rare as piss, but his dribbling is amazing, his pace fantastic, surprisingly strong, can win balls up the field, long shots missing a little bit, but fairly reliable finishing, and, you know, just a great cam, can make good, you know, passing and stuff, he'd um, probably partner up quite well with much, actually, I think that, that would be a good partnership if I ever try and get them together, but I'd give him um, a 7 out of 10, Missing a little bit from his game, but I thought he was pretty fucking good, and I'm still using him, but he's amazing. Um, next, we got Longo. Worse than Barge, for sure, but um, what can I say? His dribbling is a lot better than his card set. 67 dribbling is a fucking lie. I think his dribbling is actually really rather good. Um, I think he's a lot stronger than his card sets. I think the pace is about right, and the shooting, he's a little bit better at shooting. Um, one thing I will say, he's not that great at holding up play for your other attackers to get forward, so he's a little bit wasted in that regard, but I think he's quite good. I'd give him a 7 out of 10. Like, when he did good, he did good, and then again, I have used him a little bit more after, and he had, does score quite a few goals. His positioning seems to be amazing. That's one thing he has over Boak, yeah. The high medium work rates means he just pushes up the pitch. So it makes him quite a good target man as well. But I'd still say I like Boake more, kind of for the pace, and he's quite tanky as well, so he can use it a bit more. But so, 7 out of 10 for Longo. He's, he's good. He's good. Next we have Biondini. Uh, he, oh, he was always going to get a positive rating from me. Like, he's a bit iffy, and I'll admit, I look, on, I look at it, and I really think, honest to God, he's not quite as good as Cassioni. But I still like him. He's a bulldog that runs around the pitch. You know, he gets into actually good attacking positions. And he's awesome. I really like him. Um, I'd like his shot to be a bit better. But, <laughs> in fact, the first game I played after um, I finished recording this, he scored a 40-yard screamer. Go figure. He was just say he was, he was camera shy, I guess. But I'd give Biondini a 7 out of 10. He's reliable. He's good. He gets around the pitch really well. Um, I think the only times that I was really annoyed at him is when he couldn't quite make the tackles I wanted to and when his stamina let him down and he injured himself. But, I don't know, 7 out of 10, I'd give him that. Caschione! Where do you start? Like, he's amazing. He's even better at attacking than Biondini is. He's stronger than Biondini. He's got... He's taller than Biondini. Can win headers. He does everything. Really? I'd actually give him a 9 out of 10. That's how much I love Caschione. He is god. He is just fantastic. He is the centre defensive mid that every single centre defensive mid should hope to be. I know, 9 out of 10. And again, 300 coins for him, 200 for Biondini, you can't go wrong. So yeah, it earns his 9 out of 10. Renzetti. Yes, I paid an absolutely stupid amount of money for the guy, but I don't know. He's okay, he's, uh, 
he's like the Oviedo, you know. I know you can get him cheaper, but he's actually okay at defending. He gets up the pitch quite well. <coughs> um, I don't know, I don't mind him. He's okay. I like him more than I did Drame. I can't quite figure out why, but I did. I think it's because he's a little bit stronger. But it just seems to me that, like, left-backs, I'm not really down with. But he's good, he's quick, he's nippy, and he does seem to sit back decently well, even though he can't quite handle your quadrados and iron robins. But who the fuck can in this game? So I'd give him a 6 out of 10, just kind of because he's the lesser of two evils. But you could replace him if you wanted to. It's just all the other options are so fucking expensive. Um, then we got Antonini. I give him a recommendation, but mm, again, he is Chris Hurd, basically. I know it says that he's six foot tall in the game, but uh, he's got a good pace, good dribbling, okay defending, okay physical. It's just sort of like you are a born centre defensive mid, and yet you're playing as a centre back, and you just can't do it. He can't jump high enough. He he's a lot stronger than Santa Croce, but not strong enough. I know, I'd give him a 5 out of 10, he's okay, but he's just, he's not quite really made to play centre-back. But he is better than Santa Croce. Um, next we've got Gonzalez. Now, he is born to play centre-back, in fact, he is a perfect centre-back. Do not look at the defending and physical stats. The only thing that I'd say let him down a bit is his positioning. His medium-medium work rates means he's a little bit all over the place. But, he's a lot, I think he's faster than 75 pace. He's six foot three, he's a fucking tank, and he can head the ball really well. It's what you need. Gonzalez is the best centre back here. Um I know, partner up with Yoshida. Not bad. It's not a bad partnership, is that? But no, I I, I really like him. It's just I seem to have managed to find that the two best centre backs you can get, apart from Delaney, if I know including Del the three best centre backs you can get that I found so far all have really janky nations. You can't hybrid them in. Like was that Costa Rica? Yoshida was Japanese, and I think Delaney is Irish. It's like that's like the worst possible centre backs for hybrids. But if you could get them all together on nine cam, it would be pretty cool to see. But yeah, he gets uh, an eight out of ten. I think he's as good as Delaney, and as good as Yoshida. Um, Ed Nielsen, I quite like him. I think he's good. He does. He's a better Renzetti for the right side. He gets up and down the pitch quite well. He's quite pacey. Really good at defending, good passing. He is just sort of what you want in a right back. I'd give him a 7 out of 10. He doesn't really put a foot wrong. I don't really notice when he fucks. He's not like Trippier. He did cost me quite a lot, but on the other hand, that's got a chemistry card on him, like the Sentinel card. So he is going to cost a bit extra, and he is rare as well. But I quite like him, actually. I think he's probably the best right back I've used on the game so far. <coughs> Sorry, I've been editing this. I've been editing for the last eight hours, just getting all this crap done. So my voice is slightly dying. Um, Rubinho, the other surprise package alongside Lax out. He's. I know he made a lot of mistakes, and I have bigged him up a bit, but I would still give him a 7 out of 10. I don't know if he's quite Manone's level, because Manone is a little bit taller but he has better stats, he just seems to be the better player. But for a 68 rated keeper, I think Rubinho is really good. He's 6 foot 1, he's acrobatic, which is generally the worst style. He has crap handling, his positioning is crap, and yet he does quite well. He just makes a lot of really, really good, smart, nippy saves. Yeah, he fucked up a lot, and he did concede a lot of goals, but I think that's more the fact that defence sucks. As they usually do in these fucking series. The the, the series that I find an amazing defence. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait. It will never happen. But yeah, I, I'd give him a 7 out of 10. You know, he's been fairly remarkable in certain instances. And he's saved, made a lot of really good saves. But I can understand why you'd be put off when he concedes like four goals in a game. It's not great. Well, you could blame me. You probably should. Um, right, so that's the team I'd recommend. Let's move on to the Clunkers. Soriano, he's not terrible. Um, I'd probably give him a 5 out of 10. I really didn't give him or Pookie or really a proper look in. But I, he's not really a cam. He's sort of in the same vein of, as Ucard. He's not really a cam at all. You know, he's got good all-round stats, good passing, dribbling, um, pace and physical, but he can't shoot and he can't really defend, so he is just a centre mid, but I think you can just do better. He is quite cheap, but I I don't know, I just didn't really like him as a cam at all. 
Um, we have Santa Croce. Who did? He's okay. He is too short. His medium medium work rates suck. I I don't know. His pace is good, but I just, Gonzalez is the better player. And I, again, it's the same vein as Antonini. You're going to pay exactly the same price for Antonini, Antonini as you do for Santa Croce. You may as well go get Antonini. I wouldn't recommend either of them, but Antonini is the same price. I'd go buy him. And he can do a lot more than Santa Croce can. It really is a shame, though. He genuinely was amazing the last two FIFAs. Like, he would be in your team before you even started making it. So, it is a bit of a shame, but I'd give him a four. That's harsh, but I'd give him a four. He just isn't that good. Um, Pukiarelli. I Again, he didn't get much of a look in for me. I wouldn't even say he's that pacey. His work rates are quite good, but I didn't think he was an 82 pace kind of player. And once you get past the pace, he can sort of dribble, and then he just falls flat on his ass. He really can't do anything else. I don't know. 5 out of 10 again. I didn't really give him enough of a look in to try him out. I was too busy trying to figure out if Paredes and Ukon were actually good. And I did get my answers on that, but yeah, I kind of neglected the other two. But again, 450 coins, so you can use him, run his contract out and stuff. You might like him, but eh, lacks out for me all the way. Dribbling, you just want more dribbling in a cam, and he doesn't have it. Um, Peririnha. The Portuguese bloke. Um, he's alright. Ed Nielsen's just the better player, unfortunately. I think he would probably be fairly reasonable if Ed Nielsen wasn't there, to be fair. But, again, only 350 coins. Um, I didn't even know. I didn't even know. He's probably quite decent. I'd give him a 6 out of 10, actually. He, was, he isn't terrible, by any means. But, you know, he just happened to be in the same league as Ed Nielsen and he can't really beat that, but when you consider that the left-backs and the right-backs are so fucking expensive, I think it makes a decent amount of sense to, um, you know, actually get him over some of the other ones, but I would upgrade quickly, because he's not great. Um, Paredes, a steaming pile of shit. Awful, hateful, miserable, useless. I just don't like him. He's just not good at all. It... I, he, he's not 77 pace, that is a fucking lie. He is not 74 dribbling, I swear I'd give him 70 at best. His agility is apocalyptic, so you try and scale or dribble, he doesn't fucking move, he just sits there going brr, brr. He's shit. Yes, he scored a goal and got two assists, however I'm fairly certain one of those was off a corner. Anyone can kind of do that to a reasonable degree if you get enough whip on it. And the heady goal he got was because Ukon just set it up. Ukon just did the business for him, and that was kind of it. So, yeah. It's not really very impressive when you actually look at it and think, he's just awful. And for two grand, you can do better. You can do so much. Lax out. Just go get Lax out. This guy is a waste of your time. Medium low work rates are a lie as well. He just doesn't move. He's shit. Avoid Paredes at all costs. 3 out of 10. Um, Gil Herme. Gil Herme. Um, I didn't really... Again, he didn't get much of a look in. But I look back on it, I actually think he's okay. Um, I'd probably give him a 6 out of 10. He's surprisingly good at defending. His medium-medium work rates means he actually sits in the middle of the pitch. Whereas, as much as I love Biondini and Cascione, they do kind of run around like headless chickens. It just so happens that they also get shit done. That's kind of um, the, the measuring stick for those two. But Gil Herme, he sits in the middle of the pitch. Again, I paid far too much money for him, but you can get him a lot cheaper. I've seen him go for a lot cheaper, so you're okay on that. But, I know, he's quite good, and his shooting is actually good. Like, the 67 shot is a lie. I'm sure it affects him in other areas, but he is pretty competent at his long shots. And volleys, surprisingly. So, uh, yeah, give him a 6 out of 10. He's quite good. I don't mind him. It's just you've got to find a cheaper one. Don't spend three grand. He's not the three grand kind of guy. The grand at best. It's 800 if you can push it. Um, drama This is what I'm talking about when you talk about the lesser of two evils. It's sort of like... I, kind of naturally prefer Renzetti, but Drame should kind of be the better player, however I just don't like him. 
His high high, I, it shouldn't really matter too much, because Trippier had high high, although maybe that's why he wasn't that great, but I don't know, I'd give Drame a 6 out of 10. I, it's the same rating as Renzetti, but I preferred Renzetti, if I'm honest. Renzetti just felt a little bit more competent at defending and attacking, whereas Drame was just kind of all over the place, and yet completely invisible at the same time. So, I don't know, I'd avoid him, because you couldn't probably get Renzetti so much fucking cheaper. So yeah, 6 out of 10, but Renzetti over Drame. Um, Benedetti, the guy, the unnamed guy, the guy I could never remember. Well, he's here now, and he's shit. Despite the fact that he's 6 foot 3, low high work rate, 67 pace, 60, uh, 76 physical, he should effectively just sort of be a little bit more of a balanced Delaney. Whereas Delaney had crap pace, but great defending of physical stats, this guy's got decent pace for a centre back. Okay defending and good physical. And he shit. Do not go near him at all. He is completely fucking hopeless. There is no point. He's... He just... I, I don't know if it's his work rates, because low high means you just sit right back. Medium high means you can sort of forage forward a bit. But he just it doesn't do anything. He's completely lost in there. And for some reason, Delaney is really good at like stopping the zigzag runs. Because you can just sort of, he, for some reason, he's really good at positioning himself. Whereas this guy just doesn't, he doesn't do it. He's shit. Four out of ten. Hopeless. Don't bother. Um, Belomo. I feel kind of sorry for Belomo because I, despite the fact that he's, I've actually played a lot of games with him, I never really touched on him that much. I did try, honestly, but he's okay. I prefer Lax out myself. Um, you know, one goal, three assists in seven games isn't bad, but I just preferred Lax out. I'd say get him over any of the other cams apart from Ukon, if you could afford Ukon, because he is okay. I'd give him a 6 out of 10. He was reasonable, but he didn't inspire. I'll give him that. But he was better than the other cams. I'll, give, I'll, I'll put it to you that way. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I feel, do feel a bit mean saying that, though. He was quite good. Um, and then we have Anduja. Anduja? Anduja. He's shit. <laughs> Don't bother. It's so quite odd to think that Rubinho and Anduja cost the same amount. It may well be that uh, the reason for that is because Rubinho um, uh, is Brazilian. That's about the only thing I can think of. But <sighs> I, he's really bad. Like, he is impressively bad. I just, I wouldn't bother. I, I think part of it is, if I was gonna try and put my finger on why he's shit, um, it's his diving. Um, I think it was FIFA 13, um, Courtois. He was a really high rated keeper, he was fantastic, he had awesome stats, he had like 90 reflexes, but he had 70 something diving. He was hopeless, he couldn't stop anything, get in the way of anything. The way I like, that I think keepers are the best are when their diving and reflexes kind of match up. But his don't. Even though he's six foot four, good positioning, good reflexes, he just sucked. Dick. He's terrible. Three out of ten. Give him a miss. And anyway, since I've been rambling for 20 minutes, here is the final team. You will have noticed I didn't exactly need to swap a lot of people out. Um, the BPL team, I actually swapped an awful lot of people out. I put quite a few people in, and I will show you that at some point. I really do need to stop stockpiling these so far into the future. I'll try and figure that one out. But, um, anyway, for this one, we've got, um, I got Guido and converted him down to a cam, so he's now a right-handed cam. The left-sided cam is a bloke called Paladino, who is basically, ooh, like, Paredes, but good. Paredes, but good. Um, I've used Paladino in the last few games as well. He has four-star skills, four-star weak foot, um, amazing pace, amazing dribbling. He's just a very, very competent Paredes. He can head the ball, he can do what he likes. And the last player you'll see there is Caceres, who is a gold-rated centre-back. No, I just put him in because all the other centre-backs kind of sucked, really. I didn't even like Antonini that much. So Caceres is a happy medium between what Antonini would be, and he's actually quite cheap. Like, Caceres is about six foot, six foot one, I think. He's got a lot of pace, good physical, you know, good all round stats. But he's just a bit, he's kind of what Antonini wants to be. 
But other than that, I left the team untouched. I really was surprised how much I liked the Serie A. I shouldn't be, because I wanted to do it, because all the players look fucking sick. But, there you go. I only swapped out three players from the final team. But that is the squad that I would get tell, say make once you've got the players because i know marilyn goes amazing paladino is very 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 competent cam and um caceres is just a good center back you could swap out some other players if you wanted to you could get rid of rubinio you could get rid of renzetti if you have the money to buy one of the astronomical left backs but yeah on that i'd say leave it and anyway i'm gonna fucking shut up now because 22 minutes i'm fairly certain this is nearly longer than the gameplay uh, I hope you enjoyed. Next, I'm either going to do the championship or the league earn. Because I want to try Benzia. I really want to try Benzia, but the championship players look so fucking good. So, I don't know. I'll figure that out. I'll probably try and hold off on editing for a while so we can catch up a bit. Um, yeah, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you in a bit. Peace.